before I get started with this video, something was just brought to my attention and I thought I would add this at the beginning of this video. Bison Workshop is looking for somebody to print out a t-shirt for the Bison Workshop. I just want one. I like to have two, but I will settle for one. If anybody knows where or if somebody will do it, make me a t-shirt for the Bison Workshop and I want a small logo here. Same size as that. And then on the back, a big one. Uh, between the shoulders. But I want it on a pocket t-shirt. Black. Uh, I think that would be a cool addition to the Bison Workshop. So if anybody knows a t-shirt printer who would help me out with that, uh, let's make a deal. <laughs> anyway, I will let you proceed to the regularly scheduled program. Well hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And I've been trying to make some room around here uh, for to get some of this uh, steel stock out of my shop and free up some space in here. And uh, so I decided, I was out there in the building and I looked down and seen the frame to the trailer I'm going to be building and the rear end was in here and the frame was out there in the building taking up too much space and I decided I'm going to go ahead and start putting this thing together. Um, I've got a few few things put together and if I can find a good location to put you guys I'll uh, show you what we got going on. So what we've done you remember the tractor I took apart to get the motor off of. I got rid of everything except for the frame and the rear end. Uh, I've got the rear end mounted in it. I got the brake system on it. Yes, it's going to have trailer brakes. Uh, we're going to try anyway. Uh, it's not going to be a brake that works when you're pulling or need to stop. It's only going to be a parking brake. So somewhere I'm going to run a lever up through here and to the front and make a lever so that I can lock it in place. And I've got a little gear tooth here that could be modified to be a lock to lock it to lock the brake. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see. This come off of a <laughs> I don't know what that come off of, but it's threaded in three different places so I can mount something to it to make a swivel so that when you pull your brake, you put your lever in and these teeth will hold it in place and then when you're done it'll be spring loaded. We can put a spring right there and make it so it's spring loaded uh, so that you have to pull it to let the brake off. We'll see how it works. Uh, then I've got this cylinder and I sure would like to make this power dump, but we're going to leave that option open. We're not going to do that right yet because I am nowhere near, I haven't even started collecting uh, a, a pump. And I'd have to have some kind of a motor. Uh, it'd be nice if I had a 12 volt motor that would be enough to run this little trailer to lift it with a pump. Um, I do have, now this is not going to happen yet, that's going to be down the road. Uh, well, I don't know what I did with it, but I have one of those uh, interlocking uh, universals. You know, it's got four prongs that goes into four holes that 
kind of a, a clutch type thing. It's like a universal, basically, same thing. But uh, anyway, then I've got this tube, this solid square tubing here, two inch square tubing that <clears throat> I'm going to use for a tongue. And that's a pretty long one. So I'm going to take and run that down underneath here all the way back to where it stops on the frame and then I'm just going to mount that right there. I have a bolt hole here and a bolt hole here and that ought to be plenty of uh, tongue for this trailer. Um, now the, the deck is going to start from here all the way back to about right here. Something like that. I kind of want the wheels to be closer forward, so we just have to judge it and see. But um, right now, I've got to drill holes right here, and then I've got to take this pole and put it up in the uh, drill press. Actually, I'm going to use three of them. Um, I'm going to use three bolts one there one there and one there so basically all I got to do is find center to this draw a line up through there and then once I've got my line drawn then I can pick where I want to put my bolt holes I might already have one here because I think that's in the center Let's see Twelve and three quarters, so that's going to be six and three eighths. Yep, we already got one in the center, so we can go ahead and uh, go off of that one. So I'm going to work for a little bit and possibly move you guys around where you can see where I'm what I'm doing as soon as I find my pencil I can't find the pencil <laughs> there we will get another one all right so we've got six and three eighths Six and three eighths. And we've already got one. So now I'm going to start working and enjoy the music.
Alright guys, we got the tongue mounted to it, and I think this two inch square stock ought to be pretty decent for a tongue, uh, I mean it's a garden trailer. Uh, it's going to be a little long, I'm going to have to cut it down to the size I need, but once I get it figured out uh, where my turning is, when I get a turn, I don't want my corner of my trailer hitting the tractor. So I'll wait until I'm ready to uh, mount this to the tractor before I uh, cut it down to size. And I've got a hitch that should mount to this uh, for a uh, inch and seven eighths. So I'm gonna flip this over. Turn around here, let you see what I'm trying to do here. Basically, I'm just going to make some uh, L brackets that mounts to that right there. Actually, I really don't need to do that. That would be wasting material. Uh, I can put a two before across here however wide I'm going to make my trailer and the same thing back here and possibly one in the middle but I want to mount this temporarily because eventually I do want to make a dump bed and that wouldn't be hard to do I just need a pump and a motor and a cylinder and hose and a valve so, in a tank. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all that in here, but I'm sure I could. But that would be cool to have this cylinder mount right there. And pour down here. Yeah, I could mount that right there. Yeah, this is the side that comes out. All right. So, that would work. Map that right there. And then this would come up. And then go down. Or, do I want to bring it this way? Actually, this would probably be where I'd want to mount it. Somewhere like that right there. So that it... You need it down far enough that... I don't know. We'll figure that out someday. That may not ever get done. Good idea, though. But, uh... This is going to be the trailer, and then I got to cover this in. I might just put me some toolboxes in here somehow. Uh, once I get the deck on it, it'll come out about well, it'll come out as far as the wheels do, because I want my wheels to stick out just about that far. So. We're going to have the deck that comes out here all the way up to the front here. So I can make a small toolbox to fit this area that comes all the way out on both sides and have a pull down lid or a drop or a lift up lid with a latch. That way I can just lift it up, snap or hook it, get whatever I need out of it, straps, uh, tools, whatever, uh, saw, you know, a little hand saw or something like that in case I need one, and uh, just make two compartments here, one on each side of this thing, and that'll hide the tongue. 
but I think that's going to be plenty. Yeah, it'll be plenty. Got three bolts in it. And, um, I think this will be a nice little trailer. And I'm also leaving my options open. I'm going to go ahead and put the pulley on it. I'm going to leave my option open to see if I can make some kind of a um, spreader, uh, seed spreader. But, again, that's another thing that's going to be a long time down the road. Uh, right now, I just want to get this thing to where it's operational so that I can hook it behind the tractor whenever I get the wiring harness in it and get it running. Uh, see, when the wheels spin, that spins too. So we got it neutral now, and that's where it will most likely stay. But I want to make some kind of a lever that goes on the side of that that comes out the other side where I can shift the lever in different settings of speed because uh, you, this was a 7 or 8 speed transmission so in the future it could be utilized as some kind of a spreader for seeds or uh, whatever the belt on the pulley will turn, turn while the tractor is pulling and make the whatever you're going to use turn to spread seed. Uh, that could be some kind of an attachment that you could slide in the bed. I'm sure you get the picture. So, and you could put a hitch on here. I could pull two trailers if I wanted to. <laughs> But I think this will make a nice trailer. Uh, I built one once before and I'll put a picture of that up right now. And that was a nice trailer. Uh, so that one was a dump bed, but it was done with um, a winch. And even that might be a possibility to do that again. Uh, I used a winch and a control to uh, make that one go up and down. And the battery set right here. So, anyway, let me uh, put you all over here. Got my candy. <laughs> Had to have some candy out in the shop. 
But that will end part one of the uh, trailer build. So the next thing I got to do is put the tires and the inner tubes on the wheels. And it's been so long since I've had this thing apart, I've done lost some of my parts. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to find these parts, but I got spacers that goes on this uh, axle between the uh, wheel and the ax or the uh, housing, just a spacer to protect the uh, shaft. And I painted them; I just can't find them. So that's going to be next, and I probably will start off. The next part of this part two once i get the wheels on it and i'm trying to think of a way to put a jack on it too i've got a brand new jack uh somewhere the only bad thing about it is is it mounts in the center of a triangle so, I may have to put a different kind of bracket on it and have a jack on it. And I do want a jack on it just in case I have to leave it loaded and I need to park it and use the tractor. That way I can hold it up and put it back down on the ball, no problem. So, must have a jack. <laughs> and, uh,. I may even change this design, I don't know. Um, I can't find the front plate that went on this. I was going to use the front plate that sandwiches the uh, rocker for the front wheels. And I was going to weld some of this tubing. And this is some pretty solid tubing square tubing and it's a good possibility that I could take and do a tongue like that right there then I could mount my jack right up there in the front in the middle and I may yet do that uh, the only problem with doing this is The stress will always be on the bolts that bolts it on there. So, I think I'll just leave it the way it is and just figure out how to make the jack work. That's me thinking right now. I mean, my mind's are working right now. So, we got a plate that goes over this part. But I don't think it's necessary. That would be where the shifter, actually the shifter was right here. So this was open and that's where the dash was. So we don't really need to do nothing with this to strengthen it because once we bolt our 2 before to it with these four holes right here and then come back here and use two holes here and then come over here and we're going to have to make holes for this side. Uh, actually we could use these holes right here and uh, mount our two before us to it and that's going to give us the surface for mounting our deck. Uh, once we get our deck then we'll do sides. And. Uh, these lawnmowers make pretty nice trailers. They make good frames for a trailer. So, man, I had a lot of weight on my other trailer. That thing could handle some weight. Anyway, I'm rambling on and rambling on, and I'm going to have a hell of a time editing this video. <laughs> uh, so, this will end part one of the bison trailer build. Uh, let's see, it'd be the bison garden trailer build. 
and it's going to be a pretty big one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. You guys have a good one. Later.